What can I do for you? It's an ice cream shop. What does it look like, smartass? It's obviously a trading post. I find that hard to believe you haven't seen one yet. Actually, looking at you, you do seem to be lacking the basic fundamental supplies, so maybe you haven't. Though I'd be pretty impressed you've made it this long with the way things have been without running into one. Well, if that's really the case, allow me to explain. The trading post is obviously what it says it is. Here we make trades. Currency is pretty much a dead language now. The stuff I've got behind me, far more valuable than your paper money, gold coins, and your grandmother's ring. So, I can show you what I have. You can show me what you have. And we can make a trade. Gotta say, I'm pretty impressed you've made it this long. You don't look like you have a lot on you, so... Kind of would like to see what you'd want to trade. Why don't I show you the basics? I think you probably need them. You don't necessarily have to get anything, though. I really think you should. And I'm sure we can come to some kind of agreement. What do you say? Good. There, I got an idea. This is your standard canteen. Comes in a canvas bag. The canteen itself is made out of plastic, so it's lightweight. Lids attached. The bag comes with clips, so it's easily attached. And it's protected by a fur lining. It was a great find. All this stuff behind me, I found scavenging. Got a few of these, so I don't mind parting with it. For a fair trade. Just something to think about. I'll show you a few more items. All right, tactical flashlight. I already have batteries in it, takes D. I also have a few extra of those I can throw in for the right price. can be seen for a few miles. Bottom unscrews here. And it comes with a few different colors of lenses to put over top to help you see in different conditions.
Also has a clip. And it can work underwater to a certain extent. So. There's that. If flashlights aren't your thing, because you don't want to worry about trying to find batteries, which is understandable. I have some candles. They're slow burning wicks and long lasting. I have six of them. I've also got some matches. As you can see, they're quite bright, effective. So, definitely a good trade. Now, I don't know how you've been getting around without one of these, but after that nuclear bomb and the way everything's changed, when I go out scavenging, a lot of places are filled with radiation, rad. So, if that's what you're doing as well, I highly recommend this mask. This is a true Hungarian gas mask. And it's your lucky day because I found it in this canvas bag. And that's not the best part. comes with a filter. Easy to use. Just pop it on. So, I'd say if you're going to continue to go out there and scavenge to make a living, this is definitely probably the first thing you're going to want from me. Never been used. And I'll throw in the bag it came with. I 
I can't tell you where I find these things. Then how would I make a living? No, it's my secret spots. Yeah, it's just me. I'm looking out for myself. I don't need help from any of you. Just truth. Something to remember. my newest item I acquired recently when I was out. Bags also got a loop, so easy storage and carry. No. This is a tactical shovel. Some people think that they don't need it, but they say it's a valuable necessity. So, handle snaps out. Easy to use, and then you just fold it back up. You never know when you're gonna have to dig for food, shelter, hide a body. What? And I said shelter and food. So. Highly recommend this one. And it easily folds back up. It's only been used by me once. Oh, no reason. Just needed to dig a little bit. Yeah. I have a few things I think could interest you. I have your standard compass right here. It's got a magnifying top in case your bad eyes want to see a little bit better, but we'll get you where you need to go. Or I have this one, and you strike me as someone who prefers the flashy things, so this is a ring that opens up into your standard compass. Also comes with two different magnifying tops. Help you see better. But this way you don't have to put it away. It's always on your flashy little hand. I thought you'd like that one. Next, I have a first aid kit. Brand new and fully stocked. Found it still in packaging. It says everything that's in it on the back. Judging by what you've been through and your whole appearance, I'd say a few of these things would probably come in handy to you. It has a pair of gloves, alcohol wipes, banded strips of different sizes, gauze pads, adhesive tape, instant ice pack, tweezers, scissors, magnifying lens, iPad, 
pill bottle, pain relievers, first aid cream, antibiotic ointment. So, you want to see what's in it? I just told you what's in it. Whatever. As you can see, I found it. Brand new. So. I was going to keep it for myself, but depending on what you got on you, I might be willing to part with it. Especially because I think you could probably use it more than me. Next, I just have some rope. Can help you hunt, set traps, help with shelter. Rope is definitely a necessity. anything you like so far? Of course you do. Now, like I said, I would highly recommend the gas mask, the light, and the canteen first. I do have a few other things, but I guess before we keep going, I'd like to see what you have on you. What do you have to trade? Lighter. That's fairly decent. Looks like it still works. Might be out of fluid, but I'm sure I can find some of that. Not bad. I'd say that's a pretty fair trade for at least a canteen. Show me one more thing and I'll keep going. Deck of playing cards. And they're all here. Not bad. These always go pretty quick, so I'd say that's pretty good for at least the flashlight. All right, I might have underestimated you. You might have more on you than I thought. Okay, I'll show you what else I got. Let's see here. I'll start small. I don't think you have anything of high value just yet, but sewing kit. It has multiple uses. You can never really go wrong with it. Scissors, needles, thread. It can help with maintaining shelter. Scissors can help with a ton of different things, obviously. So, it's a good little thing to keep on you. No. You look like you probably haven't had a good meal in a while, so... I guess I'll show you these. I have a few different MREs. The first one here is a chocolate chip cookie. But don't get your hopes up. I mean, they're better than anything you've been eating, but... 
They still don't really taste like what you remember. This is orange flavored drink. It says no fruit juice. I had it before, it kind of tastes like Gatorade or Powerade. You can just pour it into your canteen and mix it up. Lastly, I have some macaroni and tomato sauce. It comes with a few other things as well, so you get basically a whole meal in there. I knew you'd be interested in that. I don't know. It's definitely better than anything you could hunt and try to cook up on your own. I would really need a good trade for these. So maybe you could be thinking about what you could give me. I don't know. If you do decide to get those, I have some utensils you might want. They just connect for easy storage. You can put them back on, like so. Since no one really uses utensils anymore, I'd be willing to throw them in if you get the MRE. It also comes with a bottle opener or can opener. I guess if you find any canned goods you want to eat. And they are stainless steel, so they're sturdy. No. Looking at you, I'm not seeing any weapons or a means to protect yourself, so why don't I show you what I got? Great. This is a tactical bowie knife. Belt loop. Looks like this. Very sharp. I've been keeping it well. Bottom on screws. And inside some flint and matches.
I honestly prefer knives over guns and other weapons. I don't like to have to worry about ammo. I'd rather rely on me and my own hands. So, I'd say if you don't have a knife, you should definitely get one. Next, I have this beauty. This is a compound bow. I would love to keep her. She comes with all the bobs and whistles, but unfortunately for me, she's a left-hander. And sadly, I am not. So she hasn't been much use to me. But I'd love to give her to a good home. Are you left-handed? Something to consider. Even though I can't use her, I've been taking good care of her. I personally love archery, but haven't been able to find one since. It does come with arrows. I keep them in the back room, along with all my ammo. It's hidden in case anyone ever tries to rob me. Can't do much of these things without any ammo or arrows, could you? So, but she might be good for you. Next is my personal favorite. I carry one on me as well. Here we are. This is a Rossi 38 special. It's five rounds. Currently empty. I do have some. Not much since most of it's for my own. Like I said, I prefer knives, but you never know when you could use a little extra protection. Especially in this crazy world nowadays. Good concealed pistol, small, Easily hidden. And it's quite strong. So. All right. Lastly, if you're looking for some, I guess a little extra power. Hopefully you would never need this, but like I said, you seem like the eccentric type, so I can't not show it to you. So, this is an M67 grenade, also called the baseball grenade. Still active. Pull the trigger, and then throw. I hope you would never need it, but I guess it is fun to watch things go boom. So, something to keep in the back of your mind. I thought so. It seemed like this was something you'd be interested in. Okay. Lastly, I just have a couple of random but sentimental and fun items as well as some clothes. Yours are looking a little tattered, especially with the weather right now. It's quite chilly and windy out there, so let me just show you real quick. I have this bomber jacket. Nice and thick. It's waterproof and weather proof, so it'll keep you warm and protected. 
We can install the different elements after. It's a good window jack. And a good windbreaker. It does have a few deep pockets on the outside. And a zipper, nice and simple. Since your shirt seems to be in disarray, I also have this jumpsuit. Got a ton of different pockets, so good for carrying the necessities. It's got a zipper and it's fleece light, so it'll be warm. It looks like it has a pocket on each arm and two zip pockets and two normal pockets on the chest. And then a zip pocket on each leg here. So, they look pretty deep. I also have a sleeping bag if you're in need of more comfort or warmth when you're sleeping. I'd get it down, but it's quite big and heavy, so if it's something you're interested in, I can get it down and fold it up for you. Yeah. Personally, my two favorite items, but you can really only use them if you come across batteries. I got a Game Boy. It really helps you to feel like the world's still somewhat normal. It takes your mind away from everything for a bit. I've used it quite a deal, but I'm willing to part with it. Still works. And then I also have this if video games aren't really your thing. To walk me. I don't have very many tapes, but I did find a ACDC tape. So, that's a good one as well. I feel like it might be a fair trade for the deck of cards as well. Oh, and a crowbar if that's more of your thing. You know, sometimes it's a preferred weapon of choice, and it can help you break into buildings that are, you know, been boarded up and stuff like that since. Is there anything catch your eye? Canteen and flashlight, yeah, we've traded for that. What else? Yeah, you do want the gas mask? Alright, MREs. And the knife? Alright, well, that'd be a pretty good trade. What do you got? Alright. Hammer's not too bad. They're pretty easy to come by, but it's always a quick trade on my end. Everyone always wants.
What else you got? A saw? Where were you even keeping that on you? That's not bad. I'm sure I could find somebody who wants it. But I'd say that's good for the MREs in life. My guess is gold. I'm going to need something really good for that. You have two and a half gallons of gasoline. Well, yeah, I definitely take that off your hands. You want to part with it? That's like gold here. All right, I'd say that's a deal. Pleasure doing business with you. My name's Shani. If you stick around these parts, I'd be happy to trade with you again. Sounds good. I'll get all that together and. Have it out to you in a sack.